Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and welcome back to the Cyber Sleuth Let's Play series. We're going to continue where I left off after finding Zaxxon's head members of Hugo and Faye uh, in the last episode, and then we found out that Erica was discharged from the hospital, so we're going to continue from there, and I believe now we just got to do some main quests. We're going to find out. I can't remember. <laughs> あの、私なりに調べてみたのは。君は気にならない。デジタルウェイブ以上。それにあのイーターや新宿で私たちが遭遇したデジタルシフト内に入ったっていうハッカーたちの情報を集めるとは高確率でイーターの目撃情報も含
They're a bit simple, but giving someone what they like is a way of showing love. If she likes them that much, I'll make them for her next time. I think I'll add an extra twist for my second home country, China. That's a great idea. I'll come up with a recipe tonight and take them to her tomorrow. Date BBXX. Her action was a letdown. When I showed her the rice balls, her face lit up, but she looked disappointed when she noticed the Chinese twist. I don't get it. What do it, did I do wrong? I need to do better next time. Maybe she didn't like that they were so rich? Next time I'll stick to the recipe from my third home, Kyoto. Her reaction was a letdown. Something wasn't quite enough to bring out her big smile. But why? What was it missing? She didn't like the rich ones or the mild ones. I can't be bothered with this anymore. I haven't slept a week since what happened. In desperation, I made her one last batch. She ate them and smiled from ear to ear. They were just plain rice balls with salt. And the salt wasn't even that special, just ordinary cooking salt. Even so, she couldn't get enough of them. Then, with a smile on her face, she said they were amazing. I don't know why I bothered putting in so much hard work before, but I succeeded. I got to see what I wanted. Yeah, she got. Just gotta keep it original, right? Some people are that way. The record ends here. Obviously, that's Faye and um, Hugo's sister. Happy Hacker memory number three. Happy Hacker's record. Here are to find several things about hackers. Because of hackers' characteristic personality traits, they generally live a certain lifestyle. As a result, they tend to look similar. Here I will give some examples of their characteristics. Hacker style characteristics. They look intellectual but not scruffy. Their clothes are usually casual and they prefer t-shirts and hoodies. They also like to wear sandals or may even go barefoot. Addition, here I add an example based on the hackers who have been active in Eden recently. Due to the recent advent of the Eden system that so realistically assimilates the real world, there are many examples that deviate from the above. There are numerous hacker teams who wear matching outfits similar to street gangs. Funny enough, as the Eden network's popularity increases, I expect to see this trend become more prevalent. I love hacking. <laughs> okay, number 24. Happy hacker, memory number four. Happy Hacker's record. Here I define several things about hackers. Hacker's personality characteristics. Typical hacker personality traits include intellectual prowess and curiosity. Many hackers are loners. However, the recent trend of hacker teams has meant that some new view these traditional solitary hackers as old-fashioned. Some now view. I, I just totally misread that. Logical thinking is another common trait that hackers share. The ability to draw on or upload knowledge that some would consider pointless at any time is also important. They have little interest in social prestige or financial gain. Instead, the things they value are amusement and mental simulation. Stimulation. There are many Eden hackers who use cracking to make money. However, the majority of hackers take a very dim view of such conduct. I love hacking. It always, I think it always ends it with that. Anyway, that's the three that I found. or Yeah, the three that I found so far. The Faye one I've, I've always enjoyed. So let's check out and see our main... Learning about digital waves. Let's see, is there any of these that have a... No. 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 Yep, I'm just looking for memory ups, you know. That's me. There's way too much you don't know. Get the basics down. Brave point E, friendship, okay. Alrighty. Still a noob? It's a request from Erica. Is this a case? An email has arrived on the PC. There are loads of URLs for research papers. Wow, so she's telling me to learn about the digital wave. Fine, I'll accept. Well, I'm the king of all night cramming. There we go. I like that one. Erica's email contained links to sites for all the papers and articles about the digital wave. But there's too many. I'll exclude all the foreign sites that I don't understand. The five remaining ones, excluding the articles that look too difficult, narrows it down to two. So, which one to choose? This one! 
I won't expect too much of myself. I've chosen what I can handle. Now, I'll just hope for the best and focus as much as I can in the time left. That's the trick to all night cramming. I can do this. Need more coffee. Side article. The term digital wave refers to energy that carries and retains digital information and the flow thereof. Although it is described as a wave, it is not actually known if it is a wave or particles. Experts have demonstrated its existence. However, it has not yet been harnessed for practical applications. Further study is necessary. Erika and Akimi Sudo said the digital shift in Shinjuku the other day was caused by the amplification of digital waves. I don't know why digital waves should be concentrated under the ground in Shinjuku, it would be, and why would there be eaters in the digital shift? Digital shift, digital wave eaters, they must be connected somehow. Basically, a digital shift occurs where a digital wave is disrupted and eaters appear where a digital shift occurs. Pseudo shows up where eaters appear and... and I'm ready for my bed. So late, so tired. Wow, my character gave up that quick. I can barely keep my eyes open. I think I've reached my limit. This reminds me of that mysterious detective. When I first met Kayoko Karimi in Shinjuku, she was investigating the digital wave. And I think this is where we have the little insight to how I know the detective from the original Cyber Sleuth. そのまま。君、今時間はあるかな。私の調査に付き合ってほしい。君は私の実験には don't do it. It's a trap. そうか。それは助かる。ではまずは カメラを向けられたらどの一般的な日本人は写真撮影の際は元来仕草というものは。おっと、失礼。話が脱線するのは私のくせでね。調査を続けよう。何でもいい。君がしっくりくるポーズを取ってくれたまえ。That fist pump with a smile. だが、この調査には一層ふさわしい。それでこそ君を選んだ甲斐があるというものだ。君のその非凡な平凡さ、大いに活用させてもらおう。なるほど。よし、もういいぞ。ご苦労だった。では、次に行こう。ついてきて。What? Not where I go. I don't remember this one now. Do I just leave? Maybe I just leave. I think I'm supposed to just leave. Okay. Nope, not supposed to leave. Because I go here and it says I'm not sure what's going on, but I promised her I'd stay. So where do I go? I'm so confused right now.
Where's the next place to go? I guess it's oh over there. I see it now. Jesus, that was so hard to see through all the trees. It's a Sunoman. ぬいぐるみ。霊的なものが宿るという話を一口に物と言っても種類は様々。小さければぬいぐるみや宝石。大きければ巨大な構造物にさえ、そういったものは宿るとされている。特にぬいぐるみなどの思い出が強いものには
今回の異常は全く別で規模そのものつまり君が君の存在がデジタルウェーブには何ら干渉していないと証明自分で試すのが一番手っ取り早いのだが私は危険体としてはいささか不都合があってね君が来てくれたのはまさに天の廃材巡り合わせ Thank her and another woman Mary <laughs> Both who s a i d Are you a scientist? 研究そうだな真理に迫ろうとする姿勢は似ているが私は研究員というより探求者だよ私は興味がないことにはとんと無頓着だねおよそ学問には不向きな性質だ知っているかい古代ギリシアピタゴリアンスクールスタッいや、でも、誰が言名乗るほどのものじゃないさ。そうだな。ただの死がない探偵と言って既存の情報を仕入れ、分析し、現実と電脳空間で起こるあらゆる事象に目を向け、ではなしはね。縁があれば、また会える。In another life, lady. In another life. And that was my bizarre encounter with that detective. Ah! I wasn't asleep. But I've been studying so long, maybe I should call it a day. There's still so many of Erica's files left, although maybe that's not such a bad thing. I guess I could read a little more. Alright! That's gonna do it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode where we、uh, actually get to see where my character got to see Karimi from the detective agency. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.